It's not fair! I go to all the trouble of creating the ultimate weapon, and the ungrateful contraption eats me! Not too fast, or it'll blow! Fiddle with your joystick as much as you want, Dragon! I have one of my own! Hey, it sounds like the engine. Sort of. Are you playing with that lever again? Stop it! You'll go blind! It's pointless for you to speed it up. I can simply slow it down. I don't understand! How could it stall? Oh, that's just marvelous, Lizard Boy. The path to freedom lies ahead. Only something unpredictable and very heavy can stop me now. <gasps> Mervyn, you utter fool! Fool? Oh, are you ungrateful, bloated Cretan? I made you. You are where you are today, thanks to me. Then thanks for putting me up a tree, you cross-dressing pillock. What a stroke of luck, sire. Landing on top of the Royal Mattress Factory like we did. Oh, I haven't felt this young in years. I think I have another 500 years of ruling in me. <laughs> Let me ask you, Flecker. If you didn't really want to run the kingdom, why did you enter the tournament? Well, sire, apart from the usual reasons of macho bravado and general stupidity, it was to save Princess Flame from having to marry against her will. I see. Flicker, your actions over these past few days have shown you to be a lad of noble character, with a brave streak bordering on the suicidal. <laughs> I think you would be the perfect suitor for my flame. Is that all I had to do to impress you? I would have done that years ago. Sure seems a long way back to the castle. Yes, I don't remember it being this far. Seems like we're standing on a treadmill. I think I figured it out, Flicker. We're on a shortcut. A shortcut? Quite. Why, I bet the designers took a shortcut by looping this road in 20 frames. That explains it. Can you believe the audacity of those guys? Yeah, Murray, it's me. Hold the phone real close, pal. I've got something real personal to tell you. You're fired! You stink! You're not an agent, you're a curse! <laughs> I'll tell you what's the matter. It's this gig you got me. The one with the dragons and knights and crap. It's a dog, Murray. And this business with the computers and the interactive games is not the wave of the future, Buck Rogers. It's the wave that washes dead fish up on shore. It stinks worse than you do, and it's never going to catch on. All you do is walk around picking up enough stuff to fill a shopping cart. Oh, and get this, the bag they give you to put it all in is tiny. I mean, there you are, hefting around half a ton of useless crud that you probably couldn't lift with a damn crane. Suspend your disbelief if you will, folks. You break your back to find some toenail clippings that you're going to have to use later on with some belly button lint to make an atom bomb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and get this. If there's some kind of problem that the programmers can't be bothered to deal with, they just say it has magical properties and move on to the next scene. Who writes this stuff, for Pete's sake? Oh, and then they go and cut half my lines to give more screen time to that flicker kid who, just between you and me, is lousy. <laughs> I don't care, Murray! 
Now, why don't you start earning that 20% you're stealing from me and get me some TV work? Here's an idea. Team me up with some young lookers and we can go solve crimes. Trivets are angels or something. Look, I've got to go before these spuds start working on a sequel. Huh? I don't care if my contract says I have to. Oh, I just won't show. What are they going to do, sue me? Oh, yeah, good point. So I'll be in the next one. But only if they get someone who at least graduated from high school to do the graphics. You work on it. Okay, baby, I'm out of here. If you want me, I'll be at two bunch getting a soak in the mud. All right, love to you too. Dynamics 32 bit lineup with all the nose bleeding, brain bruising, and eye grabbing power that you'd expect from the leader. Third generation 32 bit software. In your face. Are there uh, any other games we could play? I think he's dead. Hey, pal, walk it off. <laughs> 